Well, hello, hello, everybody. It's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. We got a fun one. I have a little tool up here, and this actually happens to be my pattern. I did this one on my own. Um, turned out really cute. You can do, you don't have to add a stem to it. It's totally your choice. But I'm going to be doing it, um, showing you in white with some just scrap yarn I have laying around. But if you want a stem, I'm going to show you how to do all that, okay? All right, so I used a three millimeter crochet hook. And like I said, I'm just using some scrap yarn. You can use a stitch marker if you like. It's really not necessary for this one, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So, let's dive into it. I am starting with a magic ring. If you do not want to start a magic ring, with, start with a magic ring. Um, chain three and slip stitch to the first stitch, okay? So, and after you slip stitch to the first stitch, just chain one, okay? So, in your circle, I want you to put in eight single crochets. seven and eight. Pull your center. It doesn't have to be completely closed, but close it. Now, <clears throat> I want you to put in two single crochets in every stitch, okay? That'll land you at 16 stitches. We are not slip stitching, if you notice, we're working in the rounds, too. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay. We're going to do one more row of increases. So, in the next stitch, put in two stitches. And the next stitch, just one. And that's what you're going to do all the way around. Two and one, two and one.
that will get you to 24 stitches. Now I need you to do 15 rounds. Just keep going around and around until you do 15 more rows. So it's just matching stitch for stitch, round and around and around and around we go till you got 15. And I'm going to meet you back here at 15. Okay. This is what it should look like. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to count. You look at the bottom where you started. It'll be a rotating ring because we're working in the rounds. So you just count each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I'm losing count. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Anyway, I think I might have missed one. Even eighteen's fine, so don't don't stress yourself out. This does not have to be an exact number. That's what's really cute about these tulips. So once you get your height that you want, I want you to go into the next stitch and slip stitch and just chain one and we'll cut that off. But don't let that yarn go too far because you still need it. So I'm going to turn this inside out. Usually we can leave these tucked in, but I want to make this uh, this hole, this opening, as tightly closed as you can. Okay, so we're gonna if I can even get my fingers working today. I've been canning today too, so my fingers are a little sore. So going in the direction first and see how that closed it. So then I'm going to go a little more. If my needle will let me. See? Let me zoom you out because I don't want to keep going off the camera. And when you're happy with it, then you just... Weave it in wherever, wherever you can. And because this is a smaller hook size that we used, I should have used a smaller needle. This does not have to be perfect, by no means. And see, I didn't even have to cut it all off. You don't have to. And then we do the same thing. Now, you need a little bit of string on your needle, darning needle. So that's ready. I'm going to take a 
a little bit of fiber fill. Fill my tulip. You can make it as puffy or as non-puffy as you want. Do you want to warn you? I did learn a hard lesson when I made the first one. The thicker you make it, the harder it is to get that stem up in there. So, what I am suggesting for sanity, I took my stem and I... Personally, I twisted it in half because I didn't want a, an extreme long stem. I am not what you would call an artsy, crafty person when it comes to stuff like this. So I basically do the best that I can, and I, I accept that that's what it is. And then... What you can do first, if you want, you can take your stuffing out and put it where you want in there. And then you can put your stuffing around it. And actually, I bet you this helps with the secure, even though I'm going to show you that I hot glue it a little bit. Probably helps with the stick, the, the stem. All right. Now, see where you ended? Put that in the middle towards you. And then what I do is I fold this shut. And I go into this top stitches. And I go through. Leave some tail there. And you go through this a couple times. Then go underneath and go right in the center on the other side. And then you pull it. See this end? You can just tuck it on in there. Why well, have another end you have to worry about weaving? And see how that brought it closed? Oh, I didn't tuck it all the way down. See that? And now your tulip is a tulip. Okay. So then I find a spot to go down all the way through the bottom. I like with one. And I go over. And because it's the same color, as long as you don't pull hard, you're not going to even know that I did that. I think I like the white tulip better. 
What do you guys think? Can you leave us leave us a comment and let me know if you like the pink one or the white one better? Anyway, so now take my hot glue gun and I just go around. base of the stem. This really helps to guarantee that uh, that it is uh, secure. And then if you want to try to find the end you want to again this is not my cup of tea everybody so I'm sure there's somebody that's gonna watch my video and say Ronnie you didn't do it right I know and I'm really okay with that I love crocheting I love making things, but I honestly don't think I am designed for flowers. Maggie has been asking me to do flower tutorials since basically we almost started this group. And when I saw her yesterday, which was so much nice, so much fun because we don't, with her crazy schedule and my crazy schedule, we honestly don't get to see each other much. So it was an actual real treat. I'm dropping everything, guys. I apologize. It was a real treat to get to see her. Both of our lives have been... Not the greatest at times lately, but we're getting through it. Okay. I'm going to call myself there because I just am not this kind of person with that stuff. But anyway. This is how you do the tulip, though. Tulip is gorgeous. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody. We have been getting crazy amount of love, crazy amount of support, crazy amount of everything. We just, um, with my son-in-law's, my wonderful son-in-law's help, um, we have our website going. It is whipandchain.com. It is in the very basic beginning stages uh it needs a lot of love tlc i need to start writing patterns for um my projects the ones that i personally design and so they're going to be on the website if you want the pattern of some of the stuff that i do they're not there yet of only my designs i cannot sell patterns of someone else's design so if you're looking for something, there's no pattern. It's because it was not my design. I cannot do that. But if you want a written version of my designs, it's on a, we haven't decided on a price, but it's only going to be a few dollars for the written um, download of it. And we're going to have our uh, videos linked to it. We have um, a TikTok that's called Whip and Chain. We would greatly appreciate if you're on TikTok, because we want to do some lives on there. We need the followers. We only have like 104 followers on TikTok. It is whip and chain. At the at symbol, whip and chain. So if you could please come follow us. We really, really appreciate it. And I always want to tell you. It's always a work in progress here. And if there's something you want to see. I will do my best. I'm not perfect. I can get not get to every single person's request. But I'll tell you the truth. I try. I really do because I want to make everybody happy, but I have a full-time job. 
I this is becoming full time and yet we have our two little fur babies that I love spending time with. So again, thank you. Come see come visit our um new webpage whipandchain.com and come follow us on TikTok whip at whipandchain. We can't wait to see you there. And when we get enough followers, Maggie and I will be doing lives on there. Exciting, isn't it? Until next time, always a work in progress. Maggie, Lauren, and myself say thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And until next time, happy crocheting, everybody.